Are you looking for an effective solution for making your embedded YouTube videos responsive? If so, then keep watching because inside today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can make any embedded YouTube video responsive within your websites. Now this is a slightly technical option, however, I have you covered because on the inside of today's video, I walk you through how to do this for each video on your website. The reason that I needed this solution is because I had noticed that my regular embedded YouTube videos were not responsible when I pulled out my iPhone and called up my website and I viewed it on a mobile, devi mobile device. The videos themselves made the site render poorly in the mobile device. Um, basically I found I had to scroll sideways to see the full video and I wasn't happy with the overall look. The theme itself was responsive, but the, the video itself was what was skewing the, the look within the mobile device. And this is basically what prompted me to go and look for an effective solution. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over live onto my screen capture software and I'm going to show you how you can set this up for your website to basically make all of your videos responsive. But first of all, before we start, I want to show you what the video looks like when it's not responsive. So if we come into my latest post, and I scroll down to the actual video. You'll see the video here. Uh, everything looks fine on the site, as I said. Go over to an iPhone, it didn't look right. And if I drag this in, you'll see that the the video itself, you know, it sort of it doesn't respond to the container that it's within. Um, the video itself should become smaller and stay within that container. Now, what would happen on an iPhone with this sort of width? As you can see, the video you you can scroll sideways to see that you know to see the rest of the video, and it really really made the site look bad. Now, as I said, it's slightly technical, um, and I'm going to take you through this. Now, many themes nowadays they allow you to basically add CSS either directly to the post or site wide, and I know that with uh, optimized press. I can add custom CSS site wide and if you can't do that well then what you come to do is appearance then editor and then you're looking for your CSS style sheet. Now the code that you're looking to put in to the actual page is here you have a custom CSS that you want to apply site wide and you want to copy that and then basically add that into you know your option for your custom CSS site wide. Now I have already this added into my site, once you add it in of course save it and that will be applied site wide. If you don't have that option come over to your style sheet and add it in here but if you're not comfortable doing this what I always advise to do is copy this page onto a notepad then make your changes and if you're not happy well then you can always lift the code, come back across and reset everything. So once you've actually added in your custom CSS, that's step one of step two completed and this is basically the most technical part already completed. Now the second thing that you need to do is come into your post editor and basically go to where you want to add in the video. And you'll see here I have my video here which is in an iframe and this is my YouTube code. Now what you need to do is you need to wrap this with some div tags and let me just show you them. You see here you have a div, div class video container. Uh, you need to put this before your YouTube embed code. Then you insert your iframe embed code here and then you need to close it with a closing div tag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around the video and then update the post. Let me just move this out full size and as I said it's an iframe so we want to put it's basically open bracket div space class equals quote video dash container quote and then close that. Come to the end and put your closing div tag. Once you've done that and you've added your custom CSS then you simply want to update the post. If I now view this post with the updated code. So as I drag the page inwards now you should actually see the video size actually being responsive and responding to the size of the container. Um, basically no matter how small I make that you'll see that the video itself actually fully responds and resizes itself you know, dependent on the container. So as you can see doing this will allow you to have responsive properties for every YouTube video that you add onto your sites. Once you add the custom CSS code which is the really technical part then the only thing that you need to do is add the div tags around each video when you're embedding it and uh, this will turn the video into 
basically responsive for all mobile devices. Now I hope that you found this video helpful and if you check in the description area below I'll have all of the code that you need to basically go out and do this. Additionally I would also love to hear your comments and feedback so if you have any please let me know if this video helped you in the comments area below.